to see what he can do. Here's Lonzo Ball. It's Favors on the cut, and Derek Favors has now made 20 straight field goal attempts. Williamson being defended by Lyles. Everybody wants him to shoot. He's looking to pass. Here's Ball for three. And Lyles with a clear. It's an important time, too, to get Williamson back for the Pelicans. They're 11 and 5 in their last 16 games, and they are just four games out of the eighth and final playoffs. Him to sing the national anthem? Yeah, why not? Aldridge will try it again. Different result. Couldn't get that one to fall. Here's Williamson facing the double team. Hits the open man. It's Ingram with the slam. It's natural size. To me, that's not the case. The lighter he gets, the more explosive he's going to be. It seemed like to your point, Mark, they're more concerned here with his flexibility and during that rehab process offensively. But he is a problem what he does being disruptive on the defensive end. And then he's backed up by Derek White, and they've gotten terrific combination point guard play. I went one for four in 19 minutes. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Seriously, don't do that. Don't I'm do just that. saying. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Here's Ball on the attack, and all six baskets by the Pelicans have come in the paint. And that, to me, that has needed constant improvement. Rudy Gay, no. Gay is back after missing the three last three games due to illness. And it's New Orleans ball. Ingram pushing tempo, drives the lane against Pirtle. And Pirtle won that battle. He's a good defensive player. Struck me the first time I saw Doncic play as DeRozan with a beautiful reverse layup was his size, his passing, and his confidence. I just thought he had a unique... Like you don't. And Josh Hart on the floor now for New Orleans. Spurs opening up a six-point lead, their largest here of the first quarter. For those of you just tuning in for the first time, as Lonzo Ball is fouled, Zion Williamson, three-pointer, second most among NBA reserves. Now look at John Moran. He has it. You know, that's something that gives life to everybody else on the floor is Lonzo Ball. But to me, the success in putting him at the five will be high screen and roll. It won't be posting up Aldridge. It'll be him diving off the screen and roll action. There was a screen. The pass was away from it, though, and then Josh Hart. The Pelicans are a different team when they're playing with pace. In the half court, defensively, you can, you know, eliminate some of the things that they're able to do. They're at their best when they're getting stopped and pushing it with pace. A week or so ago when they played the Clippers, they had 80 at half, I believe, and they were playing fast and furious. I mean, it was up and down. But despite the poor offense from Alvin Gentry's team in this game, shooting just 36% for the floor, they're only down eight, and Reddick makes it five with a three-pointer. It will be interesting. Since Reddick came off the bench to start this game as Aldridge blocks ball, favors though with a slam if they continue to bring Reddick off the bench. As we see down a four, Ford from deep, drills it. Three ball from Bryn Forbes. Foul on the other end. Lonzo ball. Playoff series. If you don't have enough. Lonzo ball with a block. Recovering against Derek White. Here's Ingram who's just one of nine. From the floor. Here's ball for three. And Lonzo ball with his first three. I'm just saying. <laughs> And the Spurs with a foul to give. Here's Holiday, and White takes the foul. No battery misses. Zion with the rebound and the quick outlet. Ingram gets it back from Ball. And Ingram swishes home a three. That is the second. All right, Jackson Hayes. He is 19, yep. Rookie out of Texas. Forbes for three. Not that time. Long rebound to Ball. Here's Hayes in transition. And Lonzo slipped that time. Good pass by Holiday. Extra pass by Hayes. And Williamson able to collect after the def Gives it up to Hart. More drives and kicks. Shot clock down to five. Ball pulls the trigger. Gets the three. Lonzo Ball with two three points on the basketball court. Gets a lot of credit for what he's done. Improving the jump shot of Lonzo Ball and others. Zion just saved it under his own basket. Almost gave up the bucket there. Here's Williamson in transition. Ball to Zion. And Williamson turns it over. 
Ball drives, fires to Jackson, is wide open. Not close, but Ball there with a the rebound. Here's Moore. Another air ball. Jackson, another. Pop did tell us before the game we might see some zone. Here is Zion stepping back, pulling the trigger, and hitting a three. On the other end of DeRozan. Here's a lob to Zion, and he finishes over DeRozan. Five straight for the rookie. And drills a three-pointer to put the fans back in their seats. I think Nico Melli is coming in for him right here. Here's Zion for three. Hit it again. Hesitation by Derek White. Zion gives it up. Gets it back. Here he is again. Got it again. And he's looking for orders. He's not looking to make a decision. He's looking for somebody else to tell him what the decision is. Foul. Foul on ball. Points and seven of ten shooting. But I also don't think it's. I, I don't think we should be surprised that he gets more of a chance to have a rhythm by playing a longer stretch of time. Here's Zion against Aldridge. Gets it back. Zion for four for four. Whoa. Ball hits the deck after trying to get the rebound. Five on four for the Spurs. And Murray throws it right to Lonzo Ball. Ingram pulls up the three. No good. A shot that, you know, DeMar DeRozan has been making his entire career. Here's Ball. Now lets it fly. Not there. Double clutch. In and out. Rebounded by Favors. Here's Ball. Another try. This one's good. Switching it home from the corner. Also has 14 rebounds. Hart for three. That's good. Two-point game of the minute. I mean, you're inside 10 seconds on the shot clock. I mean, you waited this long. Timers at four. White step back three. Short. And 